Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn how to use a joystick module with ESP32 using MicroPython programming language. What I have here is a joystick module from Gorilla Cell ESP32 Development Kit. It has four pins, namely G for the ground pin, V for the supply voltage, X for the horizontal analog pin, and Y for the vertical analog pin. Joystick module is actually consists of two potentiometers arranged in horizontal and vertical position. Other joystick modules also contains another pin, which is the digital pin connected to the tactile switch such as this one. You can hear a clicking sound when you press the joystick, while this one doesn't have. But it should be more than enough to serve its purpose. For this experiment, you will need an ESP32 development board to serve as the brain of the experiment, an ESP32 shield from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit to extend ESP32 pins to pin headers for easy circuit connection. A 4-pin, female-to-female, DuPont jumper wires to connect the joystick module to the ESP32 shield. And of course, the joystick module itself. Let me set aside this joystick module. I already have it set up in advance where the ESP32 is attached on top of the ESP32 shield. I attach the DuPont jumper wires to the joystick module by following the color coding, which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, yellow for the X pin, and white for the Y pin. While the other end of the DuPont jumper wires is attached to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, which is black to black, red to red, yellow, and the following colors to the yellow pin headers. For this experiment, I choose GPIO32 to serve as the X pin while GPIO33 connected to the Y pin. Now for the software part, I prepared here the example source code for this demonstration. Now for example number one, let us explore the basics of reading the joystick module which works by associating the GPIO32 to X while GPIO33 associated to Y object and we use the attenuation of 11 dB in order to work with 3.3 volts logic level. Then we read the analog value of the GPIO32 or the X object and stored it to XVAL which works the same with the Y pin. Then the X and Y position is print in the REPL then we set a 300 milliseconds interval between the readings of the analog pin for the X and Y position. Now let us see it by clicking the run button. So the current position is around 1880 for the X and the Y is 1900 something. So moving to the left should decrease the value of the X while moving to the right will increase the value of the analog position while for the Y moving going up will increase the value of the Y while going down will decrease the value of the Y position and leaving it will return to the default value, which is around this. Okay, let me click the stop button and let us see example number two. Now with example number two, we will use 8 by 8 RGB module to display the 
X and Y position from the joystick going to the RGB matrix module. So let me set it up. Then let us see the example number two. Okay, I already have it connected to GPIO 25 to serve as the control pin for the RGB matrix module or NeoPixel. Let me click the run button to execute the example number two. And it defaults to the position of X, so 0, 1, 2, 3, and for the Y, 0, 1, 2, 3, which is equivalent to the current position of the joystick, which is by ratio and proportion, which is from 0 to 4095 and converted to 0 to 7. While the Y position, which have a value of 0 to 4095, is converted to 7 down to 0 this is used to rotate the orientation of the y potentiometer now if we move the joystick going to the left moving to the right moving down or moving up let me click the stop button now, let's see example number 3. With example number 3, let's control a single pixel and move it around using the joystick module. To do that, we are simply detecting if the joystick moves to any direction that is a little bit far from the default value. And after that, we clear all the pixel before setting a new pixel position. Let me click the run button to execute example number 3. So the current position is 3-3. Three, three. Now, if we move, let's say going down, we, sh we should move one by one. Move, move to the left, move to the left, or move up, move up, move left, or right, right. Down, 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 left, left, just like that. Or if you go to the edge, which is 0, X, it will no longer move. Or this is 7, so we go to 7, and move, moving down, it will no longer move down. So... That's all for now. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here can be found in the companion blog post for this video at techtotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any concern regarding this video, please do not hesitate to write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and I hope to see you next time. God bless!